Good afternoon, YouTubers. My name is Nubia. I am in recovery. I am reading out of the Life Recovery Bible, all the way from Anoka, Minnesota. Today we are continuing in the book of Isaiah, chapter 10. There you are, right there. Not there, there. Yeah, Isaiah chapter 10. Here we go. Okay, Father God, please allow me to read clearly and slow, speak clearly and slow, and think clearly and slow so that I can clearly relay your message. Thank you. Amen. All right, here we go. Only got about 20 minutes. Well, 15 minutes? Okay, 15 minutes. What sorrow awaits the unjust judges and those who use and those who issue unfair laws they deprive the poor of justice and deny the rights of the needy among the people they prey on widows and take advantage of orphans what would do what will you do when i punish you when i send disaster upon you from a distant land to whom would you turn for help where will your treasures be safe you will stumble along all prisoners or lie among the dead or lie among the dead but even then the Lord's anger what, what you got here just cab you distracting me you're distracting me you will stump there he goes bow baby down baby down you gotta go down you gotta go down you gotta go down there you go you can be down there you're good down there You will stumble. You will stumble alone as prisoners or lie among the dead. His fist is still poised to strike. Judgment against Assyria. Okay. What sorrow awaits Assyria, the road of my anger? I use it as a club to express my anger. I am sending Assyria against a, godly, a godless nation, against a people with whom I am angry. Assyria will plunder them, trampling them like dirt beneath its feet. But the king of Assyria will not understand that he is my tool. He my, his mind does not work that way. His plan is simply to destroy, to cut down nation after nation. He would say, each of my princes will soon be a king. We destroy Kalno, just as we did Karhemich. Hamath fell before us as our path did and we destroy Samaria just as we did Damascus. Yes, we have finished off many a kingdom whose gods were greater than those in Jerusalem and Samaria. So we will defeat Jerusalem and her gods just as we destroy Samaria with hers. After the Lord has used the king of, Sam of Assyria to accomplish his purposes on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, he will turn against the king of Assyria and punish him for he is proud and arrogant he boasts by my own powerful arm i have done this with my own shrewd wisdom i have planned it i have broken down the defenses of nations and carried off their treasures i have knocked down the kings like a bull i have robbed their nests of, of riches i gather up kingdoms as a farmer gathers eggs no one can even flap a wing against me or utter a peep of, of protest. To utter a peep of protest. But can the axe boast greater? But can the axe boast greater power than the person who uses it? 
is the sod greater than the person who saws? Can a rod strike unless a hand moves it? Can a wooden cane walk by itself? Therefore, the Lord, the Lord of heaven's armies, who sent a plague amongst a serious proud troops, and a flaming fire will consume its glory. The Lord, the light of Israel, will be a fire. The Holy One will be a flame. He will devour the thorns and briars with fire, putting up the enemy in a, the enemy in a single night. The Lord will consume a serious glory like a fire consumes a forest in a fruitful land. It will waste away like sick people in a plague. Of all of that glorious forest, only a few trees will survive, so few that a child could not count them. Hope for the Lord's people. In that day, the remnant left in Israel. The survivors in the house of Jacob will no longer depend on allies who seek to destroy them. But they will faithfully trust the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. A remnant will return. Yes, the remnant of Jacob will return to the mighty God. But though, but though the people of Israel are as numerous as the sand of the seashore, only a remnant of them will return. The Lord has rightly decided to destroy his people. Yes, the Lord, the Lord of heaven's armies, has already decided to destroy the entire land. So this is what the Lord, the Lord of heaven's army, says. O my people in Zion, do not be afraid of the Assyrians when they oppress you with rod and club as the Egyptians did long ago. In a little while, my anger against you will end, and then my anger will rise up to destroy them. The Lord of Heaven's army will lash, will lash them with his whip, as he did when Gideon triumphed over the Midianites at the Rock of Oreb, or where when the Lord's staff was raised to drown the Egyptian army in the sea. In that day, the Lord will end the bondage of his people. He will break the yoke of slavery and lift it from his from their shoulders. Look, the Assyrians are now at Ayath, Ayath, Ayath. They are passing through Migron and are storing their equipment at Michmash. They are crossing the pass and are camping at Geba. Fear strikes the town of Ramah. All the people of Gibeah, the hometown of Saul, are running for their lives. Screaming terror, you people of Galim, shout out a warning to Lash. Laisha, Laisha, O poor Anathoth. There, there go the people of Madmena, all fleeing. The citizens of Gebin are trying to hide. The enemy stops at Nob for the rest of that day. He shakes his fist at beautiful Mount Zion, the mountain of Jerusalem. But look, the Lord, the Lord of heaven's armies, will chop down the mighty tree of Assyria with great power. He will cut down the proud that lofty the proud. That lofty tree will be brought down. He will cut down the forest trees with an axe. Lebanon will fall to the mighty one. Footnote. <laughs> the abused person can find comfort in the theological truth in this in the theological truth in these verses one God can sovereignly sovereignly use evil people to work good with his plan. Here, Assyria is God's instrument in disciplining Judah. And two, God will punish evildoers, Syria. It is a comfort to know that God will hold our abuses accountable. 
so we can release our hatred and that he can even use their evil actions for our ultimate good. The people of Judah looked to Assyria for help in their military crisis. And Assyria would later oppress Judah. In a similar way, we look to addictive substances and behaviors and to the unhealthy relationships to deliver us. And then we are victimized by, by, our, inadequate, by our inadequate saviors. We must learn, as did the people of Judah, that God only is worthy of our trust. All right, I have time for chapter 11. Yes, chapter 11. A branch from David's line. Out of the stump of David's family will grow a shoot. Yes, a new branch bearing fruit. From the old root. And the spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and the, and the fear of the Lord. He will delight in obeying the Lord. He will not judge the, by appearance, nor make a decision based on hearsay. He will give justice to the poor and make fair decisions for the exploited. The earth will shake at the force of his word, and one breath from his mouth will destroy the wicked. He will wear righteousness like a belt and truth like an undergarment. In that day, the wolf and the lamb will live together. The loper will lie down with the baby goat. The calf and the yearling will be safe with the lion. And a, and a little child will lead them all. The cow will, get, will graze near the bear. The cub and the calf will lie down together. The lion will eat hay like a cow. The baby will play safely near the hole of a cobra. Yes, a little child will put its, its hands in the nest of, a deadly, of deadly snakes without harm. Nothing will hurt or destroy in all of my holy mountain. For as the waters, will, for as the waters fill the sea, so the earth will be filled with people who know the Lord. In that day, their ire to David's throne will be a banner of salvation to all the world. The nations will rally, will rally to him, and the land where he lives will be a glorious place. In that day, the Lord will reach out his hand a second time to bring back the remnant of his people, those who remain in Assyria and northern Egypt, in southern Egypt, Ethiopia, and Elam in Babylonia, Hamath, and all of the distant coastlands. He will raise a flag among the nations and assemble the exiles of Israel. He will gather the scattered people of Judah from the ends of the earth. Then, at last, the jealousy between Israel and Judah will end. They will not be rivals anymore. They will join forces to swoop down on Philistia to the west. They will join forces to swoop, to swoop down to be on Philistia to the west. Together they will attack and plunder the nations to the east. They will occupy the lands of Edom and Moab, and Ammon will obey them. The Lord will make a dry path through the Gulf of the Red Sea. He will wave his hand over the Euphrates River, sending a mighty wind to divide it into seven streams, so it can, be, so it can easily be crossed on foot. He will make a highway for the remnant of his people, the remnant coming from Assyria, just as he did for Israel long ago when they returned from Egypt.